the Arkansas River Crest in central Arkansas, North Little Rock police officers are doing everything they can to keep people there safe. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy is live on the north side of the river tonight with a look at what's happening. Mitch. Yeah, Donna, good evening to you. The North Little Rock Police Chief telling me tonight that all days off for officers have been canceled. Of course, they're still trying to work out uh, scheduled vacations and whatnot, but they consider this a all hands on deck situation. These officers posted up at certain areas of the city, making sure that rules are not broken. And there's growing concern tonight that uh, forecasted rain this week will create an even more dangerous situation in the waters behind me, including roads that have no water at all right now. But nonetheless, some of these homes, some of the victims of this historic flood are vulnerable. And they say that added police officers in their neighborhoods make them feel safer. Even in bad times, Shirley Collier and her best lifelong friend, <laughs> Linda Combs, find time to laugh and joke. He was our buddy, too, before she married him. Water is in the basement of both of their homes, but their minds are at ease knowing blue lights are nearby. They've been standing at, standing at that corner every night. Shirley says she left her basement door open last night to pump water out, a decision easier to make knowing an officer is at the corner. It makes me feel good. They've got enough on their plate as it is, trying to prepare for what may be coming ahead or what may already be here. North Little Rock Police Chief Mike Davis says he's assigned 10 officers to flooded areas to keep extra watch. People are going to try to come into areas and look, and and and, uh, and the people that live there, they're all about somebody coming to help them, but they don't want somebody just coming through there and, and making matters worse. Officers have been making sure people don't pass barricades, something that could turn deadly and criminal activity. We don't want the people that are dealing with this right now that are having damage to their homes to have to worry about that. People can can drown out there in that creek. While best friends work to pump water out of their homes. I'll have mine cleaned out by 2023. <laughs> <laughs> they do so with peace of mind. I sleep better at night knowing they're out there. North Little Rock police tell me that they are working with officers, uh, like I mentioned, who already have scheduled vacation days. But the chief tells me that many officers are volunteering their time, coming in on their days off to make sure that the job gets done. And as we uh, toss it back to you guys, it's important to note that it's not just police officers that are dedicating their time and putting in the overtime hours. I'm told many city employees are providing these extra patrols as well including people at the uh, Public's Work Department and things like that. We're live in North Little Rock tonight. Mitch McCoy, Fox 16 News. You know, Mitch, it's nice to see that those two neighbors and friends have a sense of humor about all of this. But I will say this, out of all the stories we've been reporting on, we have not reported on a lot of looting going on. And certainly it's because of police officers in North Little Rock and elsewhere who are just keeping an eye on that sort of thing. Absolutely, and it's important to know that the chief said that there has been no reports of any kind of criminal activity, and he really stressed that if somebody is thinking about doing that, it just won't be tolerated in this city. Yeah. All right, good. And hopefully no one is thinking about exactly. that. Exactly. Thank you, Mitch.